on 37th Street last year on March 21st. 16-year-old Al Tanise Jones was killed in her home um, about a year ago today. Kevin Bentley, 58-year-old black male, was arrested this morning on St. Helena Island. Um, the suspect was known to the family and the suspect has been on our radar. Just a matter of putting the case together and making sure everything is done, all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted. Um, I would like to also thank our partnering agencies that helped us with this case, and that includes the United States Marshal Service, um, the Violent Crimes Task Force, Buford County Sheriff's Office, the Lexington County Sheriff's Office, and of course the FBI. I'd like to introduce to you now the main case agent who worked this case, it's Detective Mike Rowan. He spent a lot of time working this case. His dogged determination, his tenacity, resulted in the arrest of this suspect in this one-year-old murder. Detective Rowan. I know I'm uh, Detective Mike Rowan. Um, I was uh, with the Violent Crimes Department. Um, I'd also like to um, thank Detective Eric Blazer. He was the uh, lead investigator before I took over the case. Um, just just uh, want let the families know out there that um, uh, we, we continue to work cases, even if they're a year old, um, and that we're going to do everything we can uh, to bring these suspects um, to justice and, and uh, help, help the family arrest uh, these victims. Um, I'd like to thank also the uh, uh, TFO Cogswell uh, with the U.S. Marshals. He was, uh, he was able to help, uh, help me whenever we were able to um, get arrest warrants uh, for Mr. Bentley. Um, that's pretty much one. Thank you, guys. I'd just like to reemphasize the great work that Detective Rowan and all the investigators on this department do to bring cases like this to closure. Um, we will continue to work all cases that we have, and uh, we hope to continue making arrests just like this one. Any questions you've got now? We won't discuss specifics of the case, though. Okay. Um, and this may be specific, I'm not sure. Can you tell us how Bentley knew her? It, it was just he was an associate of the family. And that's so not a relative or anything? No, not a relative. Um, can you tell us how Altonese died? No, we don't release details like that. That's, that would compromise the integrity of the investigation. So well, we don't release that. But we do know she was beaten. Is that correct? We don't release that. Are there any other suspects at this time? Or no. is this the only suspect? He's the only suspect that we've identified. Okay. Um, we kind of talked about this a little bit, but the family suspected him very early on when this happened. Can you talk about maybe some of what led to the arrest? We can't discuss that because it's going to be used in court, but every investigation like this takes time. Um, you know, you see the shows on TV 48 hours, and, and rule of thumb is if you don't solve it in 48 hours, it's probably not going to get solved. We don't think that way. We try our best to make sure every case gets as much attention as we can, and we keep going. We stick with these cases. Can you talk a little bit about how it was a collective effort and how that made the difference, perhaps, in this case? Collective effort is, um, like Detective Rowan said, Blazer, Detective Blazer started the case. He took it over. So there's a, there's a combination of people within our units that work this case. And it's not just those two. We, we gang tackle everything. So the whole unit was involved in doing this from the first night, continues on, and then we use the GBI's crime lab and we use everything else. Um, once we identified him, we got warrants for him. Um, they went after the guy in South Carolina, which is where we arrested him. We got the help of the U.S. Marshals. We got the help of the local agencies, the um, Lexington County Sheriff's Office and the um, Buford County Sheriff's Office. And, of course, the FBI helped us out as well. How do you think the family, the family are feeling right now? I'm sure. I think they're going to probably have a little bit of closure now, and, and that's good for them. Where did you find Bentley? He was in St. Helena's Island. Yes, he was in San Alas, uh, staying with a family member. He was staying with one of his family members. Yes, one of his family members. And what 